Yo, Adam Saxon with Guyana Cube, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create an information panel in your report to give your users a little more education. Let's do this. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, I did a video on some ideas that you can do to take your reports to the next level, right? So adding a, just a little bit of something to help make it more visually appealing. I'm by no means a graphic artist, but these are simple things that you can do and implement in your reports. You don't have to be a graphic designer to do it, let's be honest. One of the things I showed in that video was an info panel that you can overlay on your report to just give some more education about what's actually going on and what's available in the report, as opposed to maybe never starting stumbling on that really cool feature you implemented. And in the comments of that video, it was very clear that everyone wanted to see a video on that. So here we are. Enough of all this talking, let's head over to my computer and implement this. So we've got our report. The first thing I wanna call out is make sure your report is finished. If you're still tweaking things, don't do this information panel because things are gonna change. So make sure it's finalized, everything's good, and we're ready to publish it to the service for people to use. Once that's done, what we wanna do first is grab a screenshot of the actual final report. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hit print screen on my keyboard. I'm using Snagit but you can use the snipping tool that comes with windows and i'm sure there's other tools out there as well and i'm just gonna be as close as i can to the corners doesn't have to be perfect and then i'm gonna go grab that take a screenshot then what we're gonna do is head over to powerpoint yes i said powerpoint you can use any tool that you want i actually personally do this kind of stuff in photoshop i've just been using photoshop for a very long time there's free tools out there i think gimp is one there's other paid tools that aren't as expensive as Photoshop that you can go after. You can do all sorts of things to, to create this, but PowerPoint tends to be on most people's machines just because of Office. And so this is just an easy way that you can go and create this. It doesn't take a lot of skills or learning curves. It's PowerPoint, right? If you're doing Google Slides, you can probably do this in Google Slides as well. I've honestly never used it, so I don't know how you would go about doing some of the things we're going to show. So we're doing this in PowerPoint. Now that we're here, I'm gonna copy my image from Snagit and I'm gonna paste it into the report page. So you can see kind of takes up the full page. By default, your page resolution inside of Power BI is gonna be 16 by nine. PowerPoint also by default is 16 by nine. So you wanna make sure that those match. If you're doing a custom resolution inside of Power BI, this may get a little funky and you're gonna have to tinker with it a lot more. So now that we've got this, we're gonna overlay on top of this. So I'm gonna grab the shape tool and and I'm just gonna make a shape. Once it's there, I wanna make sure it's on the actual full corners. It should snap into place, that's good. And then we're gonna go format the shape. Let's get it the color that we want. I'm gonna change it to my guy in a cube color. This could be any color that you want. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the transparency. I'm gonna set it to 80% so it's kind of see-through. And now all we need to do is add the info. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab just some call out buttons. So let's do this. We're gonna Put this over here. Let's say click here for more filter options. And we can play around with the shape too, right? So shape format, let's do a fill of white. Let's do the outline. Let's do black and let's change the text color to black as well. And we can muck around with that a little more and tweak it to where we want to get this to, right? So there we go. And then if you wanted, we could actually add a shadow to this as well. Just a little something to help separate it. Bam, there we go. Now we've got our first item and you can tweak this a little bit more where you want it to be. Once that's done, go ahead and create all the items that you want on the actual canvas. The next thing we need to do is get rid of that background image because obviously we don't want that as part of the overlay, the data could change. If we go to the select item here and then choose the selection pane, we can actually choose that picture. If you hide it, you can make sure that that's it. And then we can either delete it or you can leave it hidden. I'm just gonna delete it. You can save this out so that you can change it later. Now here comes the cool part. I'm gonna go ahead and do a control A to select everything. And then I'm gonna right click and say, save as picture and we're going to add it here i'm going to call it info panel and now our image is saved it's really important here that don't go to the normal powerpoint and save as image make sure you're selecting everything right click and then save as and make sure you select png this is because when you do this it will doing the approach of the control a and right click save as image that will maintain the transparency of the background 
if you do it through the PowerPoint file menu options, it will not be transparent. And that's the thing that we need. So we've got our PNG file here that is good. And we want PNG because that's actually what allows for the transparency. Now we're back in the Power BI report. All we're going to do is bring in the image, pull that in, and you'll see here that it is present. We're just going to make it as big as we can. Because of the way that PowerPoint does this, you'll see some edges on the side. For what I'm doing, that's not a big deal. I'm fine with it because it still gets across what I need. If you are very particular about that and you don't want those edges to be there, then you're going to have to do it in some sort of actual editing tool like Photoshop to make sure you're right up against the edges. This is just the way that PowerPoint does it. For our purposes and what we're doing here, it's fine. So now we've got our image here. Now comes the magic. We're going to show selections and bookmarks. And with the image selected, I'm going to add a bookmark and I'll open. I'm also going to name the image just so I know what that is. Make sure you undo the data because we don't want the bookmarks to change the visuals. Now I'm going to hide the info panel and then I'm going to add another bookmark called info panel closed and again we're going to uncheck data and then let's just go update it for good measure so now i can switch between these so now i need a mechanism to actually do the switching so now we're going to add a blank button and we're going to move it right there i know it's a little hard to see because all the windows panes are open we're going to update the items here we're not going to have any text no icon, no outline. The fill, we are going to make this color. I'm going to go to more options. Obviously, this can be the color of your choice. Make sure it aligns with the actual background itself. And I'm going to change transparency to 57%. And then on the on hover, I'm going to change this transparency to 100%. So now when I hover over it, it'll go white. Hey. Select the button and then we're going to add an action. I'm going to change it to a bookmark. So when I click the button, it should open the info panel. And so we're going to say info panel open. So now if I do control click, there's my panel. The awesome thing about the images is the images can have actions. So I'm going to turn on the action here. So when I click on the image, it's going to close the info panel. Let's get rid of these, get rid of all of it so we can see it. So now when I hover over, I can click bam, and then I can click again and it's gone. That is bananas. So now I've got this info panel. I started in PowerPoint. I bring it in a Power BI and through the magic of selection, bookmarks and buttons, I can make the magic happen. It's as easy as that. All right, I want to hand this over to you. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below if you think this is easy to do. If you think this is hard, let me know also, or let me know what tool you're using to create those images. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.